Okay, so one of the cool places in Detroit to visit is the Verner sign. In the fall of 2015, the city of Detroit demolished a building on Detroit's west side. The demolition was part of a program to remove blighted commercial buildings throughout Detroit. To everyone's surprise, what was exposed on the building, adjacent to one that was raised, was a 40 plus year old Verner sign that reads, Drink Verner's Ginger Ale, mellowed four years in wood. Now, the Verner sign is a well-preserved piece of history of the Verner's company in the city of Detroit that dates back to the Civil War times, which is the late 1800s as we all know. Upon his return from serving four years with the 4th Michigan Cavalry in the Civil War, James Verner sold his first bottle of Verner's ginger ale in 1866. In fact, it holds the title as the oldest soft drink in America. Verner's is a highly carbonated drink that is not only sold for its great taste, but also for its medicinal purposes. Verner's is commonly used to cure stomach aches and often mixed with lemon to ease sore throats. Many, including myself, heat up Verner's and sip it on a cold Michigan winter night. Verner's is often poured into vanilla ice cream to make what is known as a Boston Cooler, an iconic Michigan dessert. The name hails from Detroit's historic Boston Boulevard, Boulevard, located in central Detroit. I am sure many of us have heard of Jack and Coke, which is Jack Daniels mixed with Coca-Cola. How about Jack and Ginger? Jack Daniels mixed with uh, Verner's Ginger Ale. If not, give it a taste, but please make sure you're 21 and older. The Verner sign is located on the 7500 block of West McNichols on Detroit's west side. 